for a lot of people, the pandemic effectively ended a long time ago. Thanks to the widespread adoption of vaccines, and because so many Americans have already contracted COVID, we've reached a level of immunity we couldn't have imagined in 2020 and 2021, when we endured so much death and disruption. You don't see as many masks these days. The Centers for Disease Control acknowledged this new reality in the second week of August, when it announced that people don't have to stay six feet apart anymore, and those who are exposed to the virus need not quarantine at home, among other revised guidelines. Although they should still wear a mask for 10 days and get tested on day 5, we know that COVID is here to stay, CDC epidemiologist Greta Massetti said adding that immunity and the tools available to protect people have put us in a different place. Many COVID survivors have not recovered, though. And even as pandemic restrictions fade, we're becoming more aware of the long-term damage some people are suffering. The phenomenon of long COVID, persistent, often debilitating symptoms like shortness of breath, fatigue, headaches and brain fog that can last weeks or months after the person has tested negative, is still so new that it isn't fully understood by health professionals. But it's real, it's dangerous, and it's ruining the lives and livelihoods of millions, some of whom were healthy and fit before. We have people who are highly educated, even people who are physicians, I've seen a NASA scientist who are unable to perform at the level that they were prior to having. We're fortunate that, for short-term disability, long COVID is now an accepted diagnosis, but I am increasingly starting to see a group of patients who, it has been a couple of years since they've had COVID, 